Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're not looking at Forex today, we're actually looking at Bitcoin. This is my first live real money Bitcoin trade. We're not actually buying Bitcoins because they're worth about five, six thousand dollars at the moment. I'm actually just trading, sure how to put this, just the spot market. So that's offered through my broker now. They've added Bitcoin, US dollar, you, you basically trade them like a Forex pair, but yeah, it's you can trade it through MT4 now. So my broker, Go Markets Australia, just offered that recently. So been watching the market to get long. We all know that this has been the market under the spotlight for 2017. Okay, we started off about $150, $300 per Bitcoin, and it's just absolutely rocketed to the stratosphere and beyond. This mega uptrend is just very explosive. So when I got the opportunity to actually trade the Bitcoin market, I believe the prices were too high. From a swing trader's point of view, where we're, we're trying to buy low, sell high, you don't want to buy these higher prices as the market basically continues to push higher and higher. If you're not really on that train already, you've kind of missed it. It's very risky to buy prices as they're accelerating higher. As prices become higher, they, they kind of become more expensive to the investor. Okay, the higher they go, the more unappealing they really become. So when you see this like huge rally, you don't really know where their top is and it can sort of correct on you at any moment. So you might have thought you were a champion buying here. The market moved up a bit and you held on to your position and here we go. We've gone through a massive correction and you've been stopped out. So the idea behind swing trading is to actually buy low at critical technical points where you expect the market to make new higher lows in the case of a bullish uptrend here or lower highs if you're in a bearish market. So on the weekend, I'll just kind of plan out my trades going into next week, into into the following week, try and find where the market's likely to drop signals, just look at the market conditions. And Bitcoin, you know, we brushed through Bitcoin quite a bit. It was just too high. We're just waiting for those corrections. So we're looking for the market to dive down into lower highs and give us an opportunity to buy at cheap prices. Now, when I say cheap prices, I mean in relative terms of what's going on with the price action here. Okay, Bitcoin at $6,000, yeah, $6,200 at the moment, that's not cheap, but in relative terms of trading the actual market, uh, now that we've gone through this correction, they are cheap within the overall context of the uptrend. What I was actually looking for was I was actually looking to get short, which means I want to sell Bitcoin because I believed that the market was going to eventually go through this correction, which it really needed because the market just keeps printing these new highs and keeps stacking up higher and higher and higher. Eventually the prices just get too expensive relative to what's going on with the price action. No one wants to buy anymore. And then you actually start to see profit taking and selling and stuff. And that, that causes these corrections back into more desirable buying prices. Now I started off on the weekly chart. You can see I've got this little note here to look for sell signals. So the weekly chart Bitcoin at the moment is really a difficult market to do certain types of analysis like looking at support and resistance because when you look to the left, you don't actually have anything because this is a virgin market. I mean, it's brand new. You don't really have a history to work off, which is what we're normal, normally used to with the Forex market. You kind of just have to work with what you got. Last week, we had this huge bearish candle printed on the weekly chart. So that's one week's worth of data. That is a huge bearish rejection candle. And when you see those guys on the weekly chart, they usually have good follow through. So when I kind of looked at that, I thought, okay, yeah, maybe it's actually going to sell off. It is pretty ripe to do that because we've already had this extended rally. We've overextended the prices very far away from the mean value here. That causes that, you know, expensive kind of scenario where the market wants to, it primes it up for a correction. Uh, so on the daily chart, didn't really see too much here. We can see that wick on that candle there, very sharp rejection of up and prices there as we pretty much approach that $8,000 level. And then we started to see a sell off. So the, the correction started to basically occur uh, last week. We closed into the, we closed the week off at that price there. Okay. Just before I continue on the four hour chart. Okay. So if we go back to the daily, where was that note? I left it. So yeah. We, this note here I left to look for sell signals on lower highs. So it's actually, now that the market was actually going through a its correctional stage and I was actually going to try and ride out that bearish momentum uh, and, until such a point the overall major uptrend picked back up and buyers started to come back in aggressively. So what I was actually looking for, let me zoom in here, is uh, we can see this previous support here on the four hour chart. This is where the week closed. I was actually waiting for a correction here 
and I was actually waiting for a sell signal to occur. That would have been a nice little intraday sell signal that we could have used to, to ride out the market down to somewhere around here. That would have given us good return uh, on our risk there. But it's currently Monday here and we're actually going into the London session and we can see what actually happened. I'll go into the one hour chart here. We get this massive gap. And that's when the week closes off, say, here. Okay, so that's Friday's close. And then Monday, uh, it opens here and we get this gapping effect. And these gaps, what they normally do is hype up the market for a gap trade. There's a bit of a saying that if, if a gap occurs over the weekend, it must be filled. Now, I don't trade like that, and I, I don't necessarily believe that 100%, but certainly the psychology behind that, when the market actually sees gaps like this, everyone's got the same mentality, like, oh, that gap must be filled. We better buy it because the market will want to fill the gap. I've actually gone long here. I've, I've got a, a buy position, and that's not really why I traded it. Basically, my trade idea was that the market had basically jumped aggressively. That gap basically pushed the market down into a potential technical level here, around here. So we can see around here was kind of where I was looking for buy signals. And we kind of overshot that level a bit. I'm not sure what caused the gap. There might've been some news or something about the Bitcoin industry that might've freaked people out. But if we go to the daily chart, if Bitcoin, this is my kind of philosophy behind the trade. If Bitcoin was going to remain a bullish market, it's likely to pick up around here. Okay, we've gone through that correction. The market's dived back right back into higher lows. If the bullish trend is still there and it's going to be defended, then we're likely to pick up off here because now the market has corrected and given investors an opportunity to buy low or buy, buy at cheaper prices. They don't want to buy up here. They want the market to give them a cheaper price and buy down here. So what I was just kind of waiting for to see uh, at the market open is if we were going to get any kind of bullish reaction down here. And I was just kind of waiting. I, I really didn't need much because everything was kind of set up. Okay, we've got that gap down. We've got that whole gap trade fill philosophy that the market kind of follows, but more so that we've got the market diving down into higher lows. So... Maybe I can illustrate this on the four hour chart a little better. So in an uptrend, the typical kind of footprint is where the market makes higher highs and higher lows there. So we've reached a higher low. So a very good location to be buying from. So you can see I bought about here. So I waited for this four hour candle to close. And we can see it's it's not a bullish rejection candle, not really like what I'm used to trading. Uh, that would have been nice if it did close a bit higher there, but uh, we, we still can see that rejection of lower prices there. And as it started to move up a bit, I, I just kind of bought it. I put my stop below that swing low. The theory is if the market turns around and actually comes back down and breaks through these lows here, then I want to be stopped out. Okay, I've risked $1,000. We probably think, well, how can you do that when one Bitcoin's about you know six and a half thousand dollars at the moment? Well, I'm not sure what's happening with the technology behind it, but this is probably a contract of difference market. It's kind of like a, a spot market. Yeah, the technology behind this, I can't explain, but if you want to trade Bitcoin, Go Markets has it. You can sign up with them and you just open MT4 and trade it like that. So $1,000 risk. And if I hit my target up here, it's a $4,000 return. So we've got a positive return on our risk. I may move this target up. If I'm going to move it up, I'm probably going to move it above uh, these highs here, anticipating the market is going to push into higher highs okay so make new highs if we're only getting like these weak kind of bullish candles sort of trickle out of there i'll leave my target as it is but if we start getting some big candles coming through there i may move my target because i'd say that there's a, a lot of strength in the market coming in and i'll try ride it out a little bit longer okay so i'm going to leave the video here and i'll come back in the next part and uh we'll come back and see how it all went hey guys Back after two weeks of running this trade, and we've actually had a very, very good result on Bitcoin. In the previous video, I decided to target those previous highs and just grab the quick one to four. But after I did see the strong bullish momentum coming out of this, um, this gap down, I decided, okay, it looks like the trend is actually going to 
continue to live on and push up higher. And I did gun for that one to 10 target that uh, I mentioned before. So I did actually hit one to 10. So if I just drop the trade on the chart. Okay, there it is. This is trade. That was my, my entry. This was the target and it was just a flat one to 10 target. Okay, so that's 10 times what I risked. Uh, sorry, 10 times what I risked there. So that is a, a huge trade. If we look on the weekly chart, I've pretty much caught probably the biggest, one of the biggest moves in Bitcoin and it's still trying to push higher. So I'm not even sure why the Bitcoin market is so bullish after the weekend gap there, but something must have happened and got the Bitcoin investors very excited. So it just goes to show that price action trading really is very powerful. Okay, we just use simple price action trading principles here, swing trading methodologies. Okay, we bought the market when it was low. Okay, that's a simple thing that you would do in a marketplace. You want to buy low, sell high, not the other way around, which is why a lot of traders get screwed up. But yeah, we waited for the opportunity to buy low. We got in and also, I noticed this year is that the currency pairs have been a bit flat this year, really. Uh, most of the currency movement has been around the US dollar. I've been following where the money wants to go. So money this year really likes Bitcoin. It's really liked oil. Um, it's really liked the S&P. So I've been trying to actually focus on the markets that are really trending and just make my life a lot easier. So Bitcoin's been one of those markets. And if you just focus on really that the markets are that are actually moving and apply these kind of principles to them, then you're going to have a much better chance of making money because we need the market to actually move to make money. I'll definitely be continuing to watch this market. What's the plan now? Well, the plan's going to be what it was before. Okay. We do not want to buy up here. Okay. People may get overexcited and again, they're going to buy at these expensive prices, a very high risk position to be trading from. You want to trade in position where the trend is at a good price, which is a relative term. Okay, that doesn't mean, okay, a good price was back here at you know, $150. That means in relative sense, the trend needs to correct. That's why I've got the mean value here. Around the mean value is actually a, a good area to target. It's like a good entry spot within the trend. We've got a nice swing level through there again. So if the market does come back here uh, and correct, correct back down and drop a buy signal right here, then have another opportunity to get back into Bitcoin and off we go again. So that's going to be the plan going forward. But this trade has hit target. Very big profit. Probably the trade of the year for me. Um, this is this was really huge and very happy about it just before uh, the market style for Christmas as well. Excellent. So if you want to learn more about price action trading or swing trading methodologies, if you want to get access to any of the tools I use, check out the site, theforexguy.com. There's loads of stuff there. If you're interested in trading Bitcoin, I use Go Markets. They have Bitcoin available as Bitcoin US dollar, and they've set it up like a Forex pair. So, you know, it, it's, it works very nicely. It's very seamless. You just place your lot sizes and, you know, you can buy and sell, you, you know, do all the same things you could do to a currency pair. So it's set up like really nicely. So if you go to my site, theforexguy.com, my brokers at Go Markets have actually got an offer. Uh, if you sign up through my website, they give you a little bit of a spread discount as well. It's not much, but it's something. So trade complete. Very happy. I hope you're able to catch the move as well. I'll see you around for the next trade video.